I think I'm safe. Luckily, it did not blow up the diamond pickaxe because then that would be retarded. So basically, watch out for skeletons and watch out for creepers because creepers are the most annoying things that are in Minecraft. Because for one reason, my sword just broke. This is not good. I think I'll just go back to the surface. Just keep punching this guy with a stick. I'm gonna beat you down with a stick. Oh my gosh, okay. This is another type of zombies that you can find. This is a gold armor zombie. These are obviously much better than normal zombies because they're, for one reason, they wear armor. Because they're smarter than zombies. And I think it's time for me to leave. Oh my gosh, it's not time for me to leave. Screw you, screw you. Okay, this is bad. DC is very bad. Uh, how do I get back? How do I get back to my home? I miss my home. I want to go back. There's probably a skeleton waiting for me. I think I'll just eat some food here. And like... Hope for the best. Okay, good. There is no one waiting for me. And after this, we have to go back to the surface because our sword just broke. It's time for us to make probably a diamond sword would be best. But I think I'll just stick with the iron sword. And while we're at home, I'll show you what to craft. Okay, the anvil. Then after that, we'll go in, look for some obsidian, and you'll see why I said we needed obsidian in the first place. I'll give you a hint. It's another world out there. You're not alone. Actually, you are alone if you're playing single player. But, it doesn't matter. Because you have something called the nether, which is a place. but Which is Minecraft hell, if you can call it that. And everything there has been designed to kill Steve's or Minecrafters like us. So, now that we're back at home, I think I need to get some food. Because I have a load of fish. And that's good for me, because fish doesn't make you have those bloated neck things which look like hobos eating a train. What am I talking about? But it doesn't matter. We have iron. And I'm just telling you, if you're planning to make an anvil, you need a whole load of um, iron for this. Because it's actually very hard to craft the iron. You see, I have two 64 stacks, which is a full stack of all items, except for ender pearls, Which I will show you in a few episodes later, where we look for one. Um, they stack up to 64. And for an anvil, you're gonna have to use up a lot of these, um, these iron. Because you're gonna cover the whole thing and you're gonna get one iron block. You need one iron block. You actually need three. So one, two, three, four. Da 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 And you have three iron blocks. This is... How you craft an anvil, it's quite expensive. And then you just do that, and you have an anvil. These anvils look pretty cool because they're awesome. So, an anvil is something that was added lately into the new 1.4 um, update, I think. So, I think I'm just going to plonk it down. Where would be a good place to put this? over here and what an anvil can do you can say put a diamond pickaxe and you can name it stuff for example hobo in a house and you can see it costs enchantments which is the levels that you have so I have six levels I need one more level if I'm gonna name it hobo in a house or something but now I think I'm gonna make a an iron sword because I don't want to use up my diamond on something which will probably wear down quicker than armor. So, um, yeah, that's how you make an anvil. Now, continuing, we will explore 
the magical wonders of the hobo. Just kidding, we're going back into that cave. And maybe we should make armor. Not sure if I should because... May... Okay, I won't yet. So we have to be extra careful on our health. And watch where we go. And obviously light up the place. Well then monsters will spawn because they spawn at dark. Remember that first episode? Okay, this is an Enderman. And you can, as you can see, it kind of, it's really tall, and it can hold blocks. Now what you don't want to do to the Enderman is actually look at it in the eyes, because, like Slender, have you, uh, um, if you played Slender, if you look at the eyes of the Slenderman, you will die. And I'm just gonna use my cinematic view, because if you look at the Enderman, the Enderman will go like, <sighs> its mouth will open up, and it does about three hearts of damage, and it can teleport. Well, four hearts of damage if you're really unlucky. So you don't want to look at the Enderman. Remember that. One of my friends is actually scared of an Enderman. What are you doing here? Are you okay, horse? I guess you do look like one of those ancient horses, so... You extinct! You were extinct already! Okay, um... Yeah, don't look at the Enderman, and watch out for cave horses. If you see any cave horses, call me. I will go to your Minecraft house, and I'll kill them for you, because I am horseman, cave horse, exterminator guy. Now, we have to keep going further inside the cave, because we are looking for one thing, and one thing only. We are looking first for gravel, which is something that we need for the portal. So, the way to get gravel, I'm not actually looking for gravel, I'm looking for something in gravel called flint. And if you want to farm flint, then just break your gravel, place it down. If you don't get the flint, place it down. And you have to keep doing this until you actually get a piece of flint. This process can take hours, because I'm Bear grills. Just kidding. But, um, I don't know. This, this is what I've been doing for, like, my life. I've been farming gravel. It was a good job. I got paid very high. And, um, you should try when you grow up. Be it. There we go! There's a flint! There's a flint that we have. You see this thing that, like, dropped out from the sink. This is flint, okay? Flint. Not the gym leader flint from Pokemon Platinum, but the flint. I'm holding it now in my hand. It looks like coal, but it has a hot, um, lighter tinge to it. And flint is very important for us because flint can help us um, build one of the most amazing stuff. I shouldn't have gone down here. I should have also left that gravel with me because um, gravel, other than getting flint from it, it's practically useless unless you want to trap someone and, and annoy the poop out of them because gravel obeys the laws of physics it will actually it's rare in minecraft but stuff actually obeys the laws of physics and um yeah why do i keep saying that i um don't know where to go actually i think i should go back to the way i was before which is about, um, over here, I think. Okay. Let's just break in here. Plonk a torch down, light up the place. And yes, this is the place that we were before. We need to look for lava. And we also need to look for creepers in case one is creeping on you. That, hence they got the name. And I also forgot to get, um, foods, which is... Did you hear that? That's the Enderman. Or what they call Herobrine. Herobrine is a Minecraft myth where Notch had a brother. Notch, being the creator of Minecraft, had a brother. And his brother died. And then Notch, want, um, 
forgot all about his brother, but they both played Minecraft since Notch created it himself. Sent then when he was playing Minecraft one day, he saw someone which looked like Her Hero Brian's skin. Hero Brian looked like a normal Steve skin, but with white pale eyes that st seemed to stare deep into his soul. Notch couldn't believe it. Hero Brian was in this game, but he's dead. His brother's computer was never on. He never switched it on, and that was scary. That was scary! I couldn't see the skeleton, but this is how much damage an iron sword does. One, two, three, because three is a magic number, mofos. Anyway, do you find that creepy? What the fudge? That was a skeleton falling from the depths of about a million meters. Um, yeah. The story of Herobrine is actually quite creepy. Because then, some people started seeing him in their Minecraft. Like, oh, fire! Oh my gosh! These skeletons are just so scary. Well, not you, because you suck at ambushing. I'm probably going to die. But, um... Yeah, whenever I'm trying to scare people, I usually just scare myself in Minecraft. But anyway, I'm going to pause the game, and I'm going to recite the story of Herobrine. So people were playing this single player, and before they didn't have all these um, options of, like, um, render distance and stuff like that. So when they were breaking wood, this is like the most um, famous one, when he was breaking wood... As soon as he broke the wood, there was Herobrine's face staring at him. And then there's this myth where if you kill Herobrine, you will get 99 diamonds. Oh my gosh, the creeper, the creeper, the creeper, the creeper, the creeper. Okay. I forgot that once I pause this game, everything's actually still going on. So anyway, they would see Herobrine, and then this whole thing just started going on about, Oh, I found Herobrine, see this poof. But I don't really believe that because... Um, why would there be someone who's dead playing Minecraft? Because that's just a bunch of hobo poop. Um, but still kind of creepy because there's been a lot of stories about that. And I'll be right back because I have to go. Oops, Christ said. <laughs> and I'm back. Um, I set the game difficulty back to peaceful because I'm a wimp because I don't like fighting mobs because they scare me a lot so once we have decent armor then I'll turn it back on and we will be roaring searching for endermen because by then we'll have good armor good swords good enchantments which is something that you'll learn later in my episodes a bunch of you have said that I need to raise my voice a bit, so I am raising my voice a bit. Do you hear my voice? Do you hear my voice? I was a bat. I'm gonna punch the bat. Where is it? There's a squid. This is another Sky the Kid reference because I don't like squids. They're icky and slimy and yeah. Um, where is the lava source? I can't really find where the lava source is because. No one can ever find the lava source. It's so hard to find. But um, I will keep searching, and once I find it, I will jump and probably throw myself into lava. Because pyromania, baby. Yeah, my dish irons. We got to get all the irons so that we can build armor. So then we will not get pwned by annoying creepers and weird things and stuff like that but I think this is a new dungeon actually so this is another dungeon that I have found and in like a few last episodes hey we got three. um you remember I have I found um another dungeon with a golden apple this is another dungeon they spawn randomly all over the world and you can get random stuff so we got a music disc, we got gunpowder, we got buckets, we got iron horse armor, we got bread, we got buckets. We got even more buckets, a bucket section of this place. Iron horse armor, iron horse armor. We don't really need that many horses. 
people sees this is so I'm gonna probably break the first rule of Minecraft which is to not dig down this is a breaking the first rule of Minecraft you do not do this remember remember kids don't don't do drugs just kidding um but seriously uh keep going down because finding obsidian is hard hard as rock <laughs> oh look redstone oh look more redstone oh look redstone oh look redstone oh look redstone Let's keep going this way you know what this is gay can't find any friggin can't find any obsidian you know what screw this kill hey now I'm back into my bed. Do I have a name tag first? Because we're gonna do something fun if we have a name tag. Yes, we do have a name tag. We're going to do something fun. Okay, you want to see what is fun? First of all, we have to put this stuff into the hobo. The hobo feeder 2000. Um, where's the iron that I was cooking? There we go. Put some more coal in that. And so we have the name tag. It's just called the name tag. You might not think, oh, this is like a useless thing. Well, this is why we have the anvil. We're going to put the name tag and then we're going to name it. Uh, let's see. What should I name my horse? Hobo. Yay. Now, if I right click my horse, my horse will have the name Hobo. So I can ride a hobo everywhere. That sounds so wrong, but I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Usually I tend to put leather in mob drops because, you know, gotta have them leather. So let's just empty everything out into this place. Tools, there's tools. Bucket is a tool. An axe is a tool. Arrows and bones. Not tools, they're mob drops I don't know where to put this disc I think I should put this in here and um I don't actually have this is gonna be my random chest where I just put random stuff in it but uh we're gonna take one piece of iron and this is where our flint comes in handy you put the flint here and you put the iron here you put the iron you put the... no yes yeah okay put the iron in the middle put it like that and you can put it like you can only put it there and there okay you see this is this flint and steel you know those old camping places where they get two rocks and rub it against each other and make a flame this is basically the same thing flint and steel which is iron. we have the flint and steel you do not want to right click wood because it burns like like a, the 4th of July and that isn't good in wood because if you do that, then your house will go up in frames and you'll be shade. Like, oh, um, okay. Now that we have this, all we have to do is find obsidian. And this episode has come to an end. I think this is long enough. If it's not, then I'll just put some weird montage of weirdness stuff so see you guys later and join the shadow army where my order is so messed up please <laughs> okay anyway subscribe to the shadows subscribe to join the shadow army and of course see you guys later goodbye i finally found obsidian this is obsidian and i forgot to mention you can set stuff on fire and it makes a cool noise like that. you're probably wondering how i'm not burning myself that's because i'm not actually here that's because i am pyromania <laughs>